There are two questions that I get asked kind of often. The first one is, why is it if I print the exact same file using two different slicers, I get very different results? Well, on that one, my response is always to have the user send me the screenshot of both of their resin profiles and post slicers. And I'm gonna tell you about 99% of the time, they are not the same, and therefore they should not expect the same results. The second question is, which is related to the first, how do I translate my settings from one slicer to the other? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do exactly that so that you don't ever run into the first question that I asked. Now, I understand completely why it can get a little bit confusing. There's a lot of terminology that's different between the different slicers, and there's also three different types of printers with three different types of settings, at least somewhat different types of settings. You've got the AnyCubic, anything that's not AnyCubic that's basically using a Chichu Systems motherboard, and in the, those ones, you've got the ones with the tilting vats and the ones without the tilting vats, each of them having slightly different settings. Well, anyway, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to translate from Chichu Box into Lychee Slicer for all three of these types of printers. And with that, let's get going. So let's start with the Saturn IV Ultra. It's a very popular printer. It's also gonna be the one with the least amount of settings. So for that one, I'm just gonna go over and pull up the file that I want to edit. Let's click on here, and I'm left with this screen right here. And this is the resin, the Amerilabs TGM7. So what I'm gonna do right here is I'm gonna make sure I have my Saturn IV Ultra on Lychee, and I've got it selected right there, and I just need to make a new profile. For me, I think the easiest way to do that one is I'm just gonna click on edit on anything that's there. Sometimes the only thing you have there may be only like the, the default one, it's fine. You can just click on edit, and then I'm gonna click on up here where it says create a copy. And make sure I apply it to the Saturn IV Ultra. Now I'm just gonna do the same thing I did here. See the resin type is Amerilabs, let's type, um, Amerilabs, there we go. And then this is the TGM7, so I'll pull that TGM7, and it's the gray. I'm not gonna name this copy, I'll just leave the comment blank for now. You can put whatever you want in there. So now let's start looking at these settings and translate them. So first thing we have on, well, let's start on the, the left here. The first thing we have here, it says the layer height. Now the layer height is the same thing as layer thickness. This is saying 0.03 millimeters, which is the same as 30 UM. But if you wanna keep it a little more, you can come down here to millimeters, and make sure that we've got 0 0.03, 0 0.03. I think the default might be at starting at five, so yours might look like 0 0.05. Just make sure to go in there and make it the same, 0 0.03, like that. All right, the next thing we have here is the bottom layer count, which is how many bottom layers we're gonna have, or burn-in layers. So burn-in layers and bottom layers are the same thing. And this one says we've got six, so let's come over here and change this to six. We've got exposure time and bottom exposure time. So the, the the difference between the normal and the bottom is gonna be basically burn-in layers versus normal. Um, so the first one is the normal, 1.4. So I'll go over here to exposure time, 1.4. And then the bottom, which is set to 30. I'll set this at 30. Again, bottom and burn-in, uh, they're the same thing. <laughs> Next, we've got transition layer count. Same thing, that one's kind of easy. It's already set at six, and the, at least that one, the terminology is the same. And then we've got the transition type. Now, don't worry about this one. I uh, just gonna kind of ignore this one uh, for the tilting that type printers. Next one is resting time. Now you can set this in here. Well, I think on different printers it can be resting time or like light off delay. You're gonna be using resting time at this point. The light off delay code is like old code. It's kind of being thrown away. So it's gonna be resting time. This is where things get a little confusing and I see where people make a mistake. This one's called rest time before release, which doesn't really make a lot of sense to me. I don't know what they mean by before release, but the way it translates into wait after print. So what this means is it's gonna expose the layer and then how long is it gonna wait before it uh, basically starts tilting the vat in this particular instance? I've got this set to 0 0.5, so I'll do the same here, 0 0.5. And the last one is rest time after retract, which is the same as wait before print, the exact same things. This is, and it's the same as light off delay. It's when the, you know, the, the build plate goes down, it's gonna wait. And since the TGM7 is like crazy thick resin, this has a crazy high uh, light off delay and or, you know, wait before print and or wait time after retract. It's all a bunch of word vomit for sure, but I'm gonna set it as nine. And that's pretty much it for this one. I'm just gonna hit okay. And we'll see right here under the Saturn for Ultra, I've got the Amerilabs and my setting is saved. That's it. That's all you have to do for anything with the tilting vat. Now let's move on to a printer that doesn't have the tilting vat, but still using a Chichu Systems motherboard. But let's go through and focus on what's unique, what changed from the first one, uh, instead of wasting your time on going through the same thing again. What we're gonna see different between the two right here is this bottom lift distance um, and lift distance, retract distance, and lift and retract speed. 
This section right here is what's new, and this section is what's different between the printers. So this is what we're going to focus on for this one. Now, this one here, you're going to see it right here. We've got the burn-in layers, so we'll start right here. The, the bottom lift distance at 4 millimeters. I've got mine set to 4 and 4, so it's 4 and 4. That's the same thing. Great. The next one is lift distance. That's over here under normals. Uh, this one's set as 3 and 3. This one's also set to 3 and 3, so no changes there, but these are the same. Uh, bottom retract distance is set to 2. Now, this is this right here. You'll only have this retract distance on a printer using a Chichu Systems motherboard. If it's an, if it's an Anycubic printer, you will not see these settings. They, they just won't exist. This says to use 2. Uh, mine is already set to 2 on the profile that I copied over, so we're good on that one. The bottom lift speed. So now we're right here under lift speed and the burn in layers, bottom layers. So it's set to 40, 40, and this is set to 100. So let's change this down to 100. Now we're under lift speed. So we're kind of back over to the to the normal layers on lift speed. This one's set to 50 and 250. So let's change that to 50 and 250. We're good to go. Bottom retract speed. So the retract speed is the is the opposite. And same thing, it's likely th these are mostly the same. We've got burn and layer retract speed and bottom layer retract speed. So this one says 150. So 100 and that says 60. We'll change that to 50. And then now we're down to the retract speed on the normal layers, which is 260. Uh, pretty quick on this one, 260. So those are the same. Oh, well, here we'll just do the wait time after retract, which is the wait before print 2.5. That says 2.2, this one's 2.5. Let's change it just for the sake, but I'd probably leave it at 2.5 to be honest. And then the rest time before lift. It makes a little more sense when we're not talking about a the retracting vat, and I don't know why they changed the terminology for that one, but uh, rest time before lift, that means after it's exposed, before it lifts, set at 0 0.05. Same thing, wait um, after print is the same as wait before lift. So we're going to put that as 0.5 seconds. All right, and that's done. So let's move to the last one being the Anycubic printer. Luckily, the Anycubic printers are very, very similar to the Chichu Systems printers. They're just missing a few settings that you can possibly find on the Chichu Systems printers. So the ones you're not going to find, of course, is those retract distances. You'll see right here, we only have the lift distance, but no retract distance. The other thing that you're going to notice that might be different depending on the printer is there's only light off delay for an Anycubic printer. You don't get to set anything else. So over here, we only have light off delay as well. There is no setting for like wait before print, wait after retract, or those other ones. There's only light off delay. Any cubic doesn't allow you to pause the print during any other time. So this one's actually gonna be really easy. We're gonna set the layer height to 30 UM, the bottom layer count to four, exposure time to 1.7, the bottom exposure time to 24, which is right here, four. Uh, the transition layer count, that's three, Right there, and then we're down to the transition type linear. Let's ignore that one, can't even change it. Light up delay three, three, and now we're down to the lift distance again, just like before. So we've got the bottom lift distance is four and four, so we'll do four and four. The normal lift distance of three and three, three and three. The bottom lift speed of 40 and 100, and 100, and then the lifting of 45 and 250. So 45, 250. Now we're just going to do the retracts. The bottom retract of 160. You'll notice a pattern, and that is uh, when you're going up, it's low value, big value. When you're going down, it's big value, low value. They're opposite of each other. So you really want them to, to kind of look like that one, where the, the high values are kitty corner of the low values. And now the last one is the retract at 180 and 60. 180 and 60. And that's, that's it. We're done. So if you just follow those steps, you'll know how to translate all of your resin support settings from Chichu Systems into Lychee Slicer. If you found this video helpful or you really enjoyed it a lot for some reason, make sure to hit that like button. If you enjoyed it a lot, a lot, hit that subscribe button. It helps out a lot for me to continue making content like this for you. If you haven't already, join us on the Lychee Slicer Discord. And as always, thank you for watching and have yourself a fantastic day.